So hello everyone, welcome to this week's YouTube tutorial. I'm Mike Ingledew and I'm all about making you successful with your integrated product support strategies, whether that's identifying the right standards and specifications, the right software, or just developing your skills around integrated product support. So a couple of house notes. I know I've been very, very, very quiet, especially on YouTube. Uh, we had our conference a few weeks ago and um, after that I developed the dreaded C word and uh, I took a few couple of weeks off just to try and recover from that and on top of that I was still doing some training and some consulting and that kind of stuff so you can still hear I'm a little bit nasally um, it does tend to hang around this thing so um, feeling fine apart from the fact that uh, I was very very tired for uh, for a few days and of course we had to self-isolate and um, make sure we didn't spread the love so um, so we're back this week as I mentioned we had TDW live a few weeks ago I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who supported sponsored uh, spoke contributed uh, all of you who were online that engaged and asked questions and sent your feedback uh, we had um, what I thought was a fantastic, probably one of our best events that we have ever hosted uh, when it comes to TDW Live. Yet there was a stack of us at the at the actual venue itself, uh, but there was a whole raft of us online and, um, you know, all around the world. We had all the way from Australia, all the way up through Europe, Japan and all these uh, wonderful places. And um, we had a truly international audience. And I think it's probably how TDW Live is going to be going for the next, um, at least the next few events that we run, I think is probably going to be these kind of hybrid events. I don't think the dreaded C word is going away for a little while yet. The UK government is currently making noises again about lockdown. So wherever you are, I hope you are safe and I hope you are well. And um, the, the thing that I wanted to talk about this week is not only did we smash my target of uh, 500 subscribers to you to YouTube that means that we now have once you hit a certain number of subscribers on YouTube uh, you get access to new features and more features and um, so we could now start bringing you additional ways that you can engage with and interact with uh, TDW so keep an eye so do subscribe to make sure that you get access to that as we release it but one of the things that uh, we talked about a lot at uh, TDW Live was that not only integrated product support and what that means and is S-Series fit for purpose? Can it actually uh, do what, what it says it's going to be able to do? Uh, what are projects actually doing? And, uh, you know, what's the vision for lots of projects as well? So uh, we did a lot. There was lots of discussion and debate around uh, what we can do with data and it was all about data this time round and we didn't focus specifically on uh, any one standard specification or approach we focused on data and what that meant for our integrated product support so what I wanted to do is I wanted to challenge some of the things that um, are kind of the norm in our market right now. And I'm thinking that about specific technical publications and I'm thinking a little bit, you know, obviously S1000D, but more just structured technical publications. And so one of the things that I wanted to learn more about and I set myself a target was learning what we meant by digital twin, digital thread and a new term that came up um, during the actual conference was digital shadow and uh, I wanted to learn what all of this meant and so I gave a presentation on what I thought the image that's in my mind when somebody says dig digital twin uh, digital thread and digital shadow was a new one on me and I now know what that means but so what I did is I did a presentation on the uh, what I thought this all meant and what this this was and 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 the image that conjures in my mind and we you know essentially we came down to then uh, we we had uh, Mike from Rolls-Royce gave a presentation and John from Cranfield University gave a presentation the people who know much more about this stuff than I do and it turns out that um, my the image in my head was wrong 
and um, but a lot of what I was saying uh, did make sense in terms of what ultimately I have now learned what we mean by digital twin, digital thread, and uh, you know what that means for integrated product support. So. At the end of uh, day one, then what I wanted to do is I then, what we'd learned in terms of digital twin, digital thread, uh, I wanted to challenge what the um, technical publication of the future is going to look like. So um, so I, I kind of set the scene with some of the challenges that my uh, customers have and some of the common themes around some of the training consulting that I do. And I listed some of the, you know, issues that I know uh, you guys are having and some of the challenges that you guys are having, especially around interactive electronic technical publications. So I wanted to kind of set the scene with that. And I so I looked at the kind of landscape of IETPs and then we uh, looked at the layers of IETPs, the types of IETPs. And then I challenged based on what we'd learned with digital twin, digital thread, and those kind of things. Uh, I challenged what the future looks like for our support publications, for our support information. And I posed the question, you know, how will this affect our technical publications that we're producing today? And it's ironic because we're now talking about IETPs as a traditional technical publication. And so it's interesting how the landscape and the terms and terminology have developed and evolved only uh, over the last few years. So then I look at um, what what it, that means for our technical publications and uh, how I think the IETPs are going to change. And um, and then we kind of contextualize it a little bit in integrated product support. And what I specifically tried not to mention the S series uh, specifications because for, for one reason or another um, I just focused on data and then how we can you know connect these data domains I call them how can we put these connect these data domains and how can we flow that through into digital twins and uh, connect all through the a digital digital thread so what does that all mean so that's great if you could if you made it to TDW live uh, you get to see, you got to see those uh, presentations but because it's the festive season and it's, you know, we're getting to that uh, hope and joy season. I'm making those two presentations available free of charge. So you, they are, you're going to need a couple of hours of your time to sit and watch them, which is why we're not just loading them onto YouTube. Um, so if you head to our website and you create uh, a free account and um, providing you use a corporate ad address otherwise we'll need to verify you with a LinkedIn link and that kind of stuff um, create a free account on our website and I'll make available uh, the free uh, tutorial or make available my free presentations on what I thought digital twins digital threads meant and uh, we'll also make available the future of the IETPs the IETP solutions I'm involved in a couple of consultancies right now on selecting uh, S1000D software, but predominantly a lot of it is around IETP solutions. So head over to our website and uh, go and uh, watch those uh, videos. And it'd be really cool to hear what you guys think. So comment below, contact me, uh, instant message me on, on LinkedIn or any of those kind of things. And let me know what you think. And what does the, because you guys are the guys out there doing this stuff. And so, you know, let me know what you think uh, the future of your technical publications and the future of your product integrated product support strategies look like. So there you go. It was a short, sharp one. I just wanted to say really sorry that I've been quiet. We've got lots coming up for YouTube over the next uh, few weeks. We're going to try our best to um, be a little bit more consistent. Um, Q1 already looks very busy for me in terms of training and some consultancy that I'm doing uh, for multiple customers. So um, I will squeeze in as much as I can and uh, we'll get it up. But if I can get ahead of myself, um, you know, like I tried to do last year, if I can record three or four and then release them once a week, that, get, that buys me a little bit of breathing time. So there you go. That's what you have it. So please do uh, subscribe. And we, the next, so we're at just over, at the time of recording, we're just over 500 subscribers, which has unlocked some features in YouTube. When we get to a thousand, that unlocks more features. So um, 
you know, it's taken the best part of five years to get to 500. So maybe I'll be retiring by the time uh, we get to a thousand. Who knows? So um, anyway, uh, I'll probably do another one before Christmas because uh, I've had some questions in around defining DMRLs and those kind of things. So I'm going to try and do something for uh, YouTube. Uh, if not, I'll do a, a little festive, uh, you know, well done. Thank you and excellent and go and enjoy life. So um, that's it. So go create an account and uh, enjoy uh, the two videos that I've made available online. And uh, if you want access to the other presentations, uh, get in touch with us and we'll let you know how you can do that. TDW Plus members, you already have access uh, to all of those, uh, those presentations. Take care and uh, see you on the other side.